So, hello, my name is Ruth Pozuelo from Kerbal.com and I thought I will spend this Saturday with you going through some of the annou announcements that Microsoft made at the Data Insights Summit that was last week, two, two weeks ago, I think, time flies. And uh, yeah, I would like to talk about uh, what is new, what's coming, and some of the things that have already been released. So this is going to be a really, really exciting video. I'm sure that you know about some of them, but hopefully I can surprise you with some of them too. So first of all, the first thing I would like to talk about again is the Power BI licenses. I don't know if you are aware of this, but on June 1st, the new licensing models um, started to, to become active, if we would say so. And I have a video explaining what that means, what the different licenses are, and where the difference between before and now. And uh, I'll talk about Power BI Premium. One of the announcements that they made at the summit is that the Power BI Premium is in GA, that means generally available. So is available for everybody to start consuming, which is great news if you are an enterprise or a large company. Uh, another thing that I would like to touch about licensing, I do it always, is that, uh, as you know, there is an idea on Power BI Little, and what that means basically is uh, a suggestion to Microsoft to create the licensing model for small and medium companies. It has already 1,801 votes, which is a lot, and I'm sure that pretty soon it will become perhaps the most voted idea. Please continue voting if you think that we need such license. I definitely do. And I would love to see a response from Microsoft about it. Let's see. So we have a Power BI Premium generally available. Power BI Report Service is also generally available. So you can just go and download it and start using it. There is a trial. I don't remember, I think it was like 60 days trial if you would like to, to try it before you buy. So great news. Okay, but now let's go about Power BI desktop features because there are many and they are very, very good. So all these features were announced at the Data Summit and uh, I, I think they will definitely improve uh, the Power BI capabilities and it's going to be awesome, awesome features. Uh, I'm not going to go through them in any particular order, but some of them I definitely like more than others. I would leave that on the comment box. Make sure you let me know too which one is your favorite and if I forgot any of the features that you are enthusiastic about, okay? So let's jump into the first one. So the first feature I really, really liked, it was the drill down function. And I'm going to show you how that looks like. Just take a look. As you can see, you can drill down from different reports, from different visuals. This is definitely an amazing, amazing tool. So you can go from an actor to another actor to a movie, from that movie to another actress. It's, this is just fantastic functionality. It hasn't been released yet, but I'm really looking forward by the time it actually becomes available for all of us. It's going to be absolutely amazing. This is definitely perhaps my favorite feature of all the ones that they've announced. So let's go through the next one. The next one is actually called Algorithms for a Hidden Insight. So let's take a look at how that looks like too. As you can see, you have the graph and then you can uh, use an algorithm that will explain the increase or try to explain the increase. It will create a chart for you and you can actually reuse that chart in your report once it's been created. So this is like really nice functionality too. I think for me to be excited about this, I will have to know how the algorithm works. So there is too little information. Of course, it, it looks fantastic. So let's see when they release it, what we can actually do and do not. So let's move it to the next one. 
The next one is actually a visualization that uh, they show for the U UK National Trust and this is something a custom visual that was created for them. I'm going to show it to you and I'll tell you what I think in a second. So as you can see, I have like different timelines that are represented, being represented in different um, visuals, quite dynamic. You have annotations on the timeline. You have like a some kind of Gantt chart, perhaps. So it's quite complicated visual actually, showing the data in different ways. With possibility to get more details about what's going on. Um, about this visualization, for me personally, is too complex. I, I really prefer the visualizations that everybody understands right off the bat, if we would say so. It looks nice, looks impressive, but I, I don't think you can actually grasp the insights of it. Perhaps you will have to be there and play with it in order to, to understand the beauty. I, I find it a bit too complicated, but do you like it? Let me know. I, I would love to know. Next feature. We have Visio and Power BI. How cool is that? You, we're going to be able to do a lot of things. Now, the Visio Custom Visual has been released in beta. So soon we will be able to have it if, I hope I haven't missed out if they release it. But let's take a look at what that does. So here you create a visual in Visio basically and then you can embed it in Power BI and then it, everything becomes interactive. So your visual in Visio will be like a graphical visualization of... Um, I mean, you can interact with it, with the rest of your data and the rest of your graphs. It's actually very impressive. I mean, it's going to be able to allow for a lot of... Uh, a lot of amazing reports actually, especially when you have process-driven um, companies or functions or processes. It's going to, it's going to allow for, for a better visualization of how processes perform, even in real time. So I really like this one. I haven't played with it. I haven't... Uh, I didn't uh, su subscribe myself for the beta version, but I will definitely test it as soon as it's live. It is going to be quite quite a nice feature. Let's go to the next one. We have interactive R visuals, and this is actually something that has already been released, so you, you can start using it uh, right away. I'm not a big fan of how the R visuals look, you know, the, the actual look and feel, so I don't use it a lot, only when I have to. But it's a neat feature, definitely. What do you think? Have you used it? Have you tried it? It would be nice to know. Next one, we have Power BI plus Power Apps. And this is going to be really neat too. So Power Apps is basically uh, like small applications like forums uh, that you can create very easily with very little code, if any. And uh, now you have the possibility, you will have, this has not been released yet, but you will have the possibility to actually embed the form in Power BI. So you will be able to, based on the data, drill on the form, and also you will be able to submit the form from Power BI. So it is going to be very, very useful for all kinds of I can imagine quite a few scenarios where this would be a great idea. So, yeah, that's quite cool. And we are going to be able to have the what-if analysis uh, that we're used to doing in Excel. 
So for now, if you want to do it, you have to export your data to Excel or you have to custom made the word of analysis, which it was possible, but still a little bit cumbersome. So very soon they will release the, the feature of actually doing that analysis within Power BI, which is going to be really neat. Cool. And the best of all, if you didn't know, you know, Power Query language, it was called M, but M was like the project name that, or the code name that Microsoft used during development. Uh, they did not change the name, they thought about it and they have like some asking the forums what would you like to call it and they have like power query language something as a suggestion. But it was a little bit of protest between people that love power query and have been using it for a while. So they announced that M is going to be called M, which made a lot of people happy including me, because you know when you are searching, when you're googling for stuff, you, you call it M, so call it something else, it would be quite a disaster for, for a lot of people. So this is a great announcement too. So those are, I think, the biggest announcements. Now, have I forgot any? Is there any announcement that you are very excited about? So let me know on the comment box. I would love to hear what you think about all these announcements and what your favorite feature is. Also, let me know if I forgot any feature that you thought it was important to mention. Uh, for me, the best feature is without a doubt the drill down function. I can wait to get my hands on that. The second feature is probably the fact that M is called M. It's not a feature, but it's quite a cool announcement anyhow. Uh, when it comes to the third one, I'm between Power Apps and Visio. Both of them are going to be very useful and uh, I can't decide between both. But Visio is already here, so as soon as they release the custom visual, I will definitely check it out and do some videos for you, so don't worry about that. So yeah, uh, this is his this is it for today. Let me know your thoughts and have a happy Friday, Saturday. Bye.